Hi, I'm Steve Smith, CFA Assistant Chief Officer for Inclusion and Fairness. It's been a couple of months since I was appointed to this role, so I thought I'd like to take the opportunity to bring you up to date with what's been happening across CFA in the Inclusion and Fairness space, and also give you some ideas of how you can play your part in ensuring CFA is an inclusive and equitable organisation. Our first key milestone was the establishment of the Inclusion and Fairness team. The main purpose of the team is to support the 58,000 staff and volunteers that make up CFA to embed inclusion and fairness into their everyday business and to promote and share the great initiatives that occur across our organisation. To support the integration and maintenance of inclusion and fairness into every aspect of CFA, we are working with regional and district stakeholders to build a governance structure that enables and supports a localised approach to inclusion and fairness planning. This includes working with the Inclusion and Fairness Advisory Council to develop a regional inclusion and fairness model with representation of the broad spectrum of diversity within their regions and to support the development of and delivery of local initiatives. A critical component of ensuring inclusion and fairness is integrated into all aspects of CFA is developing an awareness and knowledge of what behaviours are required to support a positive culture. We're currently finalising an education program called A Matter of Respect. This program will be progressively rolled out in 2018 to our entire workforce, commencing with the senior leaders of CFA. Finally, we've been working with our wellbeing and workplace relations department to advise on our systems and processes can better support when you're accessing welfare services and resolving local conflicts. You can expect to see some significant changes in this space in coming months. Many of you are asking the question, what can I do and how does this relate to my work? It's important we all understand being inclusive and equitable will better equip us to achieve our mission, to protect lives and property. To provide the highest level of service and value to our communities, we need to understand how we can better support them. Over the past few months, we've been actively engaging with our membership and asking how they see they can make a change for the better. And I've had some great feedback too. With a potential early start to the fire season, here are some examples of how you might consider making sure you're being inclusive in your day-to-day -day activities. Aim to have a good mix of experience and gender and skill in all crew and strike team deployments. Don't just use the same people each time. If you're holding a community meeting, make sure the venue you choose is accessible for people with disability and older people. The less stairs, the better, and ramp access is a must. Identify mentors for newer brigade members to ensure they feel welcome and supported and valued and truly a part of the CFA team. And make it your business to know your community. The most vulnerable people might not make themselves known because they don't want to stand out. This might be people affected with complex mental health and illness. People who are people of all genders who may have experienced discrimination or bullying or may not ask for help. We need to be diligent to help keep people safe. And above all else, make sure you're treating each other with the utmost respect, especially under pressure. Over the next six months, we'll be working closely with the regions to provide practical advice on how inclusion and fairness will be integrated into every aspect of CFA. I really encourage you to share your ideas with your brigades, groups and districts so others can benefit from the great work you're doing. As a team, we'll be looking at ways we can capture it and make it easy to share projects and initiatives and ideas on ensuring regions connect and emulate the successes. We'll also commit to providing you with feedback to ensure we're building a culture that promotes initiative and supports our members' needs. Thank you for your overwhelming support to date. I'll ensure to keep you informed as things progress. In the meantime, please contact us with feedback or your questions on inclusion and fairness at cfa.vic.gov.au.